Welcome back to Salty Lots, your front row seat to extreme underwater diving adventure, spare fishing, and all things under the sea. As Joel and I descend into the overcast gray sea, I feel a current and try to orient myself before pushing off. The dive plan set on the boat was to swim north to get to a particular area. However, now that we are actually here, the current is clearly pushing south. So swimming north would be against the current and that's not an option. Change of plans. Drift with the current and push slightly east. It's a dreary day and visibility could leave more to be desired. But as usual, we strive to make it a good dive. After swimming around for a bit, finally, I spot something. There's a lobster under that rock formation. This is Joel's favorite target species, so I signal him to the location and give him first dibs. Here he comes with his net and tickle stick which he uses at the tail of the lobster to lure it forward and into the net. At the other end of his tickle stick, there is a lobster gauge attached. He'll use it to measure the carapace of the lobster to verify it's of legal size. We're all good. We are each allowed six per day. So the goal is to find that amount. As we continue drifting, Joel spots something. There's a lionfish under this overhang. Lobstering and lionfish hunting go hand in hand. These two species tend to inhabit the same areas of the reef. So he flags them while I snag them. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. I have a mackerel in my sight. Just as quickly as I spot it, it fades into the distance. I make a little noise and see if I can garner its attention back my way. There one goes, swimming just below me. Aim and fire away. I have to remember to adjust the head cam. Sorry guys. As 
as I handle the mackerel, I keep my head on a swivel because these waters remind us of our last hammerhead encounter. I'll be sure to reference that video in the description and at the end of this video. You'll definitely want to see that one. While I'm here dealing with the mackerel, Joel spots a mutton snapper. I make haste in an attempt to catch up to the newly spotted fish. Oop! Looks like the butt handle of my gun broke off on the last shot. Oh well, I'll make do. The camera is still pointed down too low, but I make the shot. It could have been a better shot, but I landed the fish. My concern here is he's sending out waves of distress. Just as I look up, I see Hammy coming in hot. gets lost in the shuffle. I work on sending the fish that's on the toothless up to the surface. As soon as it starts floating up, the hammerhead goes away. Another win for the toothless system. Well, that was fun. Time to continue the dive. You ever played a game, Speak Out? We have basically mastered the art of talking through the regulator, just like that. It's a skill, I tell you. Nothing here. Oh, I see you. Not too far from that lionfish is a lobster. Darn, it's carrying eggs. Once you release them, they usually return to the same hole. Everything I carry has a way to be clipped to my rig. This helps to reduce the chances of losing anything.
another pregnant lobster. Well, that's a good sign for the reef. Finally, one does not carry eggs. Seems a little on the small side though. Of course he's too small. I'm 0 for 3. As I was making my safety stop before returning to the surface, Group 1, G.I. Joe and J.P., Descend and grab the flag. While they dive, we complete our surface interval. Back on the boat, we gather the toothless bags they send up. On to dive number two. I don't know if you can see the waviness in the water with the low light, but on this dive, we are dealing with a thermal climb. It's easy to tell you are in a thermal climb because the difference in temperature is very apparent. This particular one feels like I'm dipping in and out from bath water to river water. But it's trippier when you can actually see it. It's almost like you shake oil and water together in a bottle. This grandmaster started to skid away right as I released the spear. I tried to press him into the sand, but he wriggled off. We're 
Where are you, little buddy? Gotcha. This one measured at 39 centimeters. Just over 15 inches. Just short of my personal best. This scene looks familiar and not in a good way. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Gotta make this quick. We lost some of the line from the reel and I haven't gotten a chance to redo it. Joel is stuck at that depth. Until he sees a lobster, of course. I'll be redoing the line on the reel. I'll reference that in the end of this video as well. Just as before, he flags him and I snag him. Get the little tiny baby. He spots a lobster while I go after this lionfish.
While I've been doing my safety stop, there's been some dolphins spotted. Not close enough. Thanks for joining me on this dive. Be sure to check out the next two videos. Stay salty, my friends.